in the last tutorial we have seen an example in this tutorial we will a new example here we have the grammar edge where s is a non terminal which produces a b d h here a and h are terminals while b and d are non terminals then b produces small c and capital c small c is a terminal and capital c is a non terminal then again then capital c produces small b capital c or epsilon here small b is a terminal and capital c is a non terminal d produces e f where all are non terminals then e produces small g or epsilon both are terminals and f produces small f or epsilon which again both are terminals so now let us start with the um, calculation of first set here we will start with the calculation of first of s so let's begin first of s can be calculated as first of s is equal to first of small a capital b capital d small h so according to first rule for the calculation of first set it will give us a then we have first of b which would be equal to first of small c capital c again according to rule number 1 for the calculation of first set it will provide us a small c that is first the set then first we have first of c which will be equal to first of small b capital c union first of epsilon and it will provide us b comma epsilon then calculating first of d here first of d is equal to first of e f e and f both are non terminals and here we don't know currently the value of first of e neither of e nor f so firstly we will calculate first of e first of e provides us first of g union first of epsilon that will give us g comma epsilon and we have first of f is equal to first of f union first of epsilon it will give us f comma epsilon so now calculating first of d again here we have first of d which is equal to first of e f according to rule number 2 but here when we will see that e contains epsilon here you can see that e contains epsilon so we will apply rule number 3 which gives us first of E minus epsilon union first of F. Here we have applied rule number three for the calculation of first set, which we will give G epsilon minus epsilon mm, union F comma epsilon. Here it will cancel out. it will give us g comma f comma epsilon so it is the another example for the calculation of first set